As many of you are already aware, Google Stadia has not had the best time trying to launch its new game streaming service. As many users are turning away now that their free trial is done, because of either a poor audience count for their multiplayer games, or too low of a selection in their single player games. In order to investigate this, Business Insider spoke with quite a few indie developers that would have been able to make Stadia the hub of gaming that Google wishes it to be. Many of them, however, said something about similar. Not only did Google not offer them enough money, which is... Well, it, it's kind of laughable, to be honest, considering how big that wallet is for Google. Now, anyway, beyond that, there wasn't much of an incentive to do it. As many of them noted, that not only was the audience shrinking, as I mentioned earlier, but Google does not have the best track record when it comes to maintaining their own in-house productions such as Google+, Plus, for instance. However, there are still a few diehard fans, such as T. Dreampo on Reddit, that do believe that Google is, in fact, onto something still. He says, quote, I think you're missing something here. Google is using Stadia to make Chromebooks a valid Windows competitor. Google Docs competes with MS Office, and most users can get what they want done on a browser. Gaming is the last real frontier to conquer. Stadia is part of a much larger strategy than just competing with consoles, and Microsoft is well aware of this fact. And he goes on to say, or he goes on to mention an article that mentions uh, Phil Spencer bringing up his, comp his competitors being Amazon and Google specifically. So hopefully, he's the he's the one that's actually in the right versus, you know, these developers. But you know, it's uh, pretty hard to say at this point. And if you guys want to support me, blah blah Facebook, blah blah YouTube, yada yada. And if you guys want to support something a little bit bigger than me or YouTube or something a little bit more meaningful you can do so by heading over to HumbleBundle.com. Personally, I picked up a, a very nice VR bundle earlier. Only ran me like 20 bucks. And honestly, not only was that a steal, but I was able to, to support the Call of Duty endowment, which, strangely enough, actually exists. But they support quite a few different charities throughout the months. Uh, one of them that you might be able to recognize would be the World Wild Wildlife Foundation as well as UNICEF. Those are just a couple of the many, many charities that they support and that you support just by buying those bundles from them. That link you can find in the description down below. And I'd just like to point out that no, they're not sponsoring me in any way. I just think it's really cool what they're doing. Because uh, it, it's, it's the closest, it's the best win-win scenario you're ever going to find. Well, one of them. 